thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to work with and care for Bailey um, these past two weeks. He's <laughs> awesome. He's an incredible puppy. Um, four months old, your main, main concern with this age is the socialization. Um, and I feel out of everything that he received here, all of my training on just basic behaviors, um, the socialization for him was the most important, most important thing. Um, I've seen him grow so much from a shy, sometimes fearful dog to a much more confident dog um, just because he had the opportunity to play and socialize with a lot of different dogs, um, which is priceless. That's the main thing that you want to focus on with a young puppy is the socialization of new um, people, places, things, and other dogs. So I'm very, very happy about that for you. He's really um, grown in only two weeks. One thing that I always have um, puppy owners keep in mind is the age of their puppy. So um, what I find with puppies is that they learn a lot. They learn a little about a lot because they're such sponges. They take in all the information, but they forget it quickly. So it's all going to be about repetition and continued training. Um, he has a great foundation. He's responding very well to basic behaviors. But now it's going to be about repetition and um, building up that foundation for him. But he's much quicker to respond to your requests. Um, but he's still a puppy. He's still energetic. His first instincts are going to be primal for him, you know, what, what he knows as a dog. Um, but it's about being able to redirect him for what you want, and he's much more receptive to those um, reactions. So just remember, he's still four, going on five months old. He's just a baby, um, but he's a smart baby. Um, so it'll be up to you guys to continue with the training. That's one reason why I like to make these videos is so that people have something to um, be able to watch. I'm also going to give you a booklet so you can read um, how to follow through with this training. And then I'm always, always here for continued support even after Bailey leaves uh, boarding school. But um, know that I'm here if you guys have any questions. One thing I know that was of concern is Bailey um, jumping and his biting. Um, when playing with him, I just make sure we have lots and lots of toys around because he needs to chew. He's still teething. He's going to be teething um, through about nine months of age, so he needs a lot of things to chew on. Um, dogs are by nature mouthy animals, so when you go in to play with him or pet him, make sure you put a toy in his mouth if he's getting too mouthy with you. Um, but again, the socialization, the wrestling, the mouthing with the other dogs here has really helped teach him um, what's called bite inhibition, so the appropriate amount of pressure to um, put on, on people. Um, that's one thing that's lost when puppies are taken away from uh, their litter mates is that socialization, that bite inhibition, and um, the, um, the, how their mouths hurt basically, how their mouths can hurt you. So if he's starting to get a little too mouthy, go ahead, find a toy, put it in his mouth, and he's more than happy to take it. Um, if he's getting too jumpy, ask him to sit. When in doubt, ask him to sit. That's one of the most important things that you'll start implementing is when in doubt, ask him to sit. You're also going to have him sit for anything in general. So before he gets his food, before he walks out the door, before his leash goes on, you're going to go ahead and ask him to sit. A sitting dog is not a jumping dog. They're a dog that's looking to you for the next bit of direction. Along with having a lot of toys out for Bailey to help redirect him, you want to make sure your house is set up for success. I will tell you, he likes to 
go swimming in the toilet. I don't know how to better explain that. He has so much fun jumping in and digging, digging, digging in the toilet water. He loves the water. Go figure, Portuguese water dog. But um, so right now, as he's still learning, it's important that you set your house up for success. So make sure you close doors um, in areas that you don't want him to get into and find mischief in. Close bathroom doors or close, put the toilet seat down so that he doesn't dig it, dig in the water. I tried catching him um, digging in the water in the toilet bowl. I was never able to catch him. So what I did is I just closed the toilet seat. Try to train the family members to close the toilet seat, and it's kind of hard for a five-year-old to always remember. But we put a note on the toilet to close the seat, which helped him, which helped him remember. But this age, just like a child, you're going to set your house up for success, for safety, for Bailey, and then also just to make sure things are safe for your belongings as well. Um, He's doing a very good job with leave it. So if he does get something that you don't want him to have, you can say the word leave it. And he's very responsive to giving it back. I highly suggest you have treat containers all around your house so that you can reward Bailey for listening to you. So when you say leave it, you can go ahead and reward him for listening to you by giving him a treat. If you say sit and he sits, you can reward him by love, but he's very, very food motivated. So um, giving him a treat for sitting when you ask um, would be a very um, good thing to do and continue. And you're not going to always have to do this. It's until he learns, grows and matures and is more solidified with um, the behaviors that he is learning. So with basic behaviors um, to continue working on with Bailey, as mentioned, sit for everything. You can also have him down. The hand signal for down is a flat palm facing down and you just do a sweeping motion down. Um, leave it is just verbal leave it. We also worked on come, stay, uh, and loose leash walking. So what I'm going to do now is just demonstrate behaviors that he has learned with general obedience. <laughs> okay, for Bailey's coming when called, um, right now I'm making it a game for him. So Bailey's in the house, in the yard, and I would just call his name. Hey Bailey, Bailey, <laughs> come and reward him when he gets to me. So right now, he was over there, I was going to ask him to come, but because I squatted down, he came. So um, just take a look. This is an exercise that I would do with him as I would just back up. Bailey, come. Good boy, come. Good boy, come. Good, come. Good. So I'd say the word, Come, reward, come, reward, come, reward. I find that um, having a dog come when called is one of the most important behaviors you can train a dog. So I always reward that behavior because when it comes time that I don't have food, your reinforcement history will be there of rewarding him for coming when called. Okay, stay is a, also an important behavior for a dog because it just really helps with impulse control. So your hand signal for a stay is just the flat palm in front of Bailey. Stay, and he should stay in that position. Bailey, come. Good boy, sit. Stay. 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 Good boy. Good stay. Good stay. Stay. No. If he gets up from the stay, just tell him nope and try over again. Stay. Good boy. Good stay. 
And then, of course, he'll know down stay. So down is a flat palm. Down. Good boy. Stay. Stay. Oops. Down. Down. Good boy. Stay. Stay. He doesn't like when I go behind him because he can't see me. <laughs> Down. Good boy. Stay. Good. Stay. Good. Stay. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. But stays are great behaviors because it helps with the impulse control. So make sure that you continue with the stays. Alrighty, gang, when um, talking about loose leash walking for Bailey, um, there's a couple things. Set a precedence before your walk. Have him sit to put his leash on. Also have him sit, stay before he walks out the door. Dogs get very, very excited when they're going to go on a walk. Try channeling that energy to start with. Sit for leash, not jump, not bite the leash, not go crazy and then um, stay as he walks out the door. Um, on the walks, I have the dogs walk on my left hand side and the reason for that is so that they can, um, um, we normally walk against the traffic if we're in a high traffic area and we focus on one side. If you allow the dog to walk on the left, to the right, left, right, then they'll trip you. So I focus on one side. You can work on the right hand side later when he's um, more trained, but right now he's walking on the left hand side. While walking, the key to loose leash walking is engaging with Bailey. If you're not engaging with him on the walk, why should he engage with you on the walk? So make sure um, you're rewarding him when he's doing a good job and you keep him entertained. Um, tell him he's a good boy, talk to him, reward him, ask him to sit every once in a while, work on stay, um, call his name and reward him for looking at you. Do turns, um, right and left hand turns to keep him engaged with you. But the more you're engaged with him, the more he'll be engaged with you. So I'm going to have somebody um, videotape me walking Bailey, and this is what you'll want to do on your walks um, for engaging with him. Remember, left hand side and talking with him, letting him know he's being a good boy and rewarding him. Can go through the spider web. And another thing, um, on your walks, I'll find that sometimes he gets a little bit afraid of other barking dogs or a new object. Just talk to him and work through it with him. Don't force him to do anything. Um, again, he's really, really growing with his confidence, but make sure you um, work with him when he is a little bit afraid on the walk. Just talk to him and let him know it's okay. Don't baby him, though. So that I can reward him from my left hand. If I reward him from my right, it's more likely that he's going to walk in front of me to take the treats. Good boy, Bailey. And again, talking to him, letting oh, him know me. that he's being a really good boy. Good boy, Bailey. Turns are important. This way. Do turns with him so that it keeps him engaged, paying attention to you, wondering which way you guys are going to go next. This way, Bailey. I'm keeping my cameraman engaged. <laughs> okay, Bailey. Good boy. Okay, Bailey. Good boy. So if he gets stuck on a smell somewhere, um, I allow him to smell. That's what we. That's why we go on walks, right? For the dogs to exercise and smell, because the smelling is mental stimulation. It gives him things to do. But I tell you, if he's smelling something for way too long, I'll just ask him to leave it. Leave it, Bailey. Good boy. I'll ask him to leave it and then we'll continue on with our walks. So the key to loose leash walking is engaging with him, doing turns, asking him to sit, um, good boy, talking to him and rewarding him for being a good boy.
overall, you guys, Bailey did a phenomenal job. Again, he's a he's a very quick learner. He um, wonderful personality. Um, his confidence has grown leaps and bounds, which that's what I'm most excited about for you. Um, remember, he's a puppy. Set him up for success. Set your house up for success. And just continue with the training because he's just going to get better and better as you progress with him. Um, and know that I'm always here for your support. So if you have any questions, I'm here with you for a lifetime. Thanks, you guys.